Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Adobe Prelude CC. This is a great organizational tool that allow you to organize all of your data and all of your footage and get it ready to import into Premiere Pro. It's got some really neat features that helps you create a really organized project file system that for really large projects or even small projects can be really helpful. So let's go ahead and open up Preload Pro and you can start seeing some of the things that it can do. And then maybe you might incorporate it into your workflow. So the first thing we need to do is just create ourselves a new project. Welcome to Adobe Preload, you know, same basic splash screen as any Adobe program. So we're gonna go ahead and click new project. Just save over this one that I was experimenting with a little bit earlier. And so then now we're presented with this interface right here. The first thing we need to do is we need to ingest some media. That's a word that isn't usually used, but in this it makes sense because we're gonna be taking in all the data and changing it. Um, we're gonna be taking the footage in and maybe changing its name, changing its metadata, changing the how it's encoded, a lot of different things. So ingest is what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and double click this. And you'll see I navigated right here to all of my Japan footage. So this right here is where all the magic is gonna happen or at least a lot of it. And what really it comes from is how do you want to organize everything? So for example, um, let's say that I wanted to start organizing things by the median, like how it was, uh, let's see. Let's go with the transportation type. So for example, this is on a bus, this is walking, this is a kind of standing still. So let's say we wanted to create a bunch of different folders that kind of stored all of our media for the different types of different transportation types. That's how we want to structure this video. So we can go ahead and just go and select, let's go with and select all the bus folders. So all the footage while I'm on a bus. So like here and here and here and here. And let's see, I think these two. And then that is it. So I have all the footage of me on a bus selected right here. So then let's go into actually transferring it. So the first thing you can do is you can transfer the clips to a new destination. And this is gonna be selected by default because it's really helpful. So we can select a project file. So I just have a blank folder on my desktop called Japan Project. We can select that folder. And then the next thing we can do is we can add a subfolder. So we're doing it by transportation type. So we can go ahead and type bus right here. And now it's gonna take all these files and it's gonna copy and paste them into the bus folder pretty neat because we can do this um, with a bunch of different subfolders and organize all of our footage into a bunch of different areas. The next thing we can do is we can transcode. So for example, let's say all this was shot in 4K or 8K or something completely unmanageable in most systems. And you just shot it that way because, I don't know, just how it worked out. And now you needed to bring it down to 1080p or maybe you needed to bring it into an MP4 footage or something. What you can do here is you can change the format. So it's gonna first take all the folders, it's gonna send them all to Adobe Media Encoder, it's gonna encode them all into the new Kodak that you chose right here, and then it's going to put them into the file. Really need to do a mass sort of um, encoding of all the files and to organize the encoding as you go along. I, however, am not going to transcode it. You can also add multiple destinations. So for example, every time you did this, if you wanna create a backup, you could create another destination, and every time it's gonna send it to that backup destination on another hard drive or on like the cloud server or something like that. And there's also different organizational things that you might want to do, adding four or five different destinations for every file. I don't know. It's there if you want to use it. Next part is file metadata. And this is pretty important because this is going to allow us to add searchable terms to each one of the, the files. So when we go into Premiere Pro, we can search something like bus and have all the stuff that the footage of buses come up. Or we can search daylight or nighttime, stuff like that, and we can have all that stuff come up. So to create this, we're just gonna go into here, click new preset, and you'll see there's nothing selectable here because we need to click the plus button. And then now we can choose a metadata key. And so let's go with um, transportation, just how it was shot, transportation. And then we can just go with bus right here. and. This is all we're gonna be at. We can add multiple of these. So, you know, we can go like location and then time of day and stuff like that. But we're just gonna go with the one right now. And then we're gonna go save the preset and we can just save it as transportation. And so now we have a preset and we can 
choose it, the preset now. There's no just none. Now I can choose transportation. And you'll see that the metadata key was added right here. And we can always change this with every, you know, we could change it right now. We could type whatever we want in there. But we're going to go with bus. And so now it's going to save the transportation, meta key, and bus to every one of the files that we just selected. We can also rename the files because right now they're DSC underscore numbers. And that's kind of useless to us. Exact same thing. Down, new preset, add. And here is a little bit different. So we can add anything we want here, but let's go ahead and add some custom text. Just Japan bus underscore. And then we can also add um, an auto increment to the end. So you'll see it right up here. It's going to go Japan bus one, two, three, four, five, every file that it puts out. That's a lot better name than what we had right here, DSC, because we can actually read the name and figure out kind of what it's talking about. So we can save this one. We're just going to name this one. Um, name auto increment just name auto and so now whenever we come back here if we want to do the exact same format we can just go name auto and then it's going to say what's the custom text you want and it's going to add an incrementer to the very end of it pretty neat so we have all of this stuff selected now all we have to do is just click the ingest button right here oops back I accidentally unclicked there. Okay, so now we're ready. Click ingest, and you'll see that it is taking all the folders and it is transferring them into Japan Project right here. So it's copy and pasted them, it's organized them, it has renamed them, and then it has re imported them into here. So let's just do one more thing really quickly. We go back into here and let's create a new subfolder called um, walking. And we're just going to grab one clip here just for the example. So walking transportation type, we're going to make that walking as well. And it is going to be Japan walking. And now with just a couple clips, clicks, I mean, we can, you know, we can select a bunch of them here if we want just to show the, the point. We can click ingest as well. And we can go back into our Japan project. And now we have new footage saved here. So we have this file hierarchy being created inside this program. And so we can have all the footage being organized beautifully with just this program alone. And then it's all right here for us to edit. So this is a really, really important feature of this program. We can actually create a rough cut of it all. So we can go and we can say create rough cut. And let's just save it as Japan rough cut click OK. And so what we have down here is a rough cut. So if we double click on this, and let's say we want to trim it out. So we know that the beginning of this file is kind of crappy. But right here is where we wanted to start. So we can click sub clip right here, it's going to put a marker in here. And so it's going to actually cut off that end. We can go over here. And we're like, this is where we want it to end. Oops, control Z. We don't want to set the um, first time you hit the sub click, second time click O on your keyboard. So select this one and click O and it'll put the end marker here. If you reselect and you click I, that's where the beginning is going to go. So yeah, we have announced a new sub clip created. Um, this file as well, we wanted a sub clip created. So yeah, okay. So now this is saved as a sub clip. And now let's open up another clip so we can just. Um, double click on this piece of footage right here. And we don't want the, the beginning where it's all shaky. So we're going to add a sub clip as well. And we're going to add a comment right here that says, um, remember to stabilize. And so now, you know, we're adding just a bunch of data and we want it to stop, you know, right, right here. So we're just going to click on this one and click O and we can do the comment as well. O. and so now it is going to create that. And so what do we just do? Well, if we double click and we open up our rough cut, which we have right here, we can actually grab all the sub clips. So let's just grab the footage that we created. We're like, throw it all on here like this. Oh, okay, this is how we kind of wanted things to go. And then we, you'll see that there isn't like room where we can add stuff in, but we can do basic edits and start throwing things together. And if we throw our sub clips in there, it isn't going to be the full file. It's just going to be the part that we sub clipped out. So we can actually create our basic edit right here. And so if we get all this stuff in here, you know, throw it all together, and this is how I wanted it to work. You know, this is 
I'm starting to get my vision and now I need to actually get into Premiere to start editing it some more. So we've got this all worked out. The thing we do next is we go right here into to the, this is the rough cut right here. You'll see it on the media type. Right click that, whoops, right click that and hit send to Premiere Pro. And so now it's gonna open up Premiere Pro. And once Premiere Pro is open, it's gonna want you to name it. So Japan Project, click enter. And just like that, it has just imported all those files. It has named them how we wanna name them. It's got the rough cut here. So if we double click on the sequence, we have ourselves a really cool, and we can actually go back to editing here. We have ourselves a sequence that we created. And there's even a comment down here. That is some of the metadata that we added to remember to, you know, to stabilize it. So we can also do something cool here, is if we search bus now, you'll see all the folders that we, um, we attach the bus to come up. And if we type walking, we have the two that we added walking to coming up as well. Um, and you'll notice I'm like, okay, why didn't they all come up? That's because it only imported the stuff that we added to the rough cut. So, you know, we imported a bunch of it and then when the rough cut, we were like, I don't know, I didn't like some of this full, some of these pieces. So we can actually, um, so it only imports the stuff into the, into Premiere Pro that you were ready to work with, that you thought should make it into the final cut. Anyway, that is Prelude, um, Prelude, is it Pro? No, just Prelude. That is Adobe Prelude. It is a really, really awesome piece of uh, software that Adobe's created and one of those like side softwares that help out organizing all of your footage into a really concise and organized way so that you can have this great system of file hierarchy. It's great if you're working with other people especially because they don't want, you know, your folder that says Japan Project and it has a thousand files in it that are all just named DCS underscore. They want something like this where it's all organized and it's all commented and, you know, sub clipped and everything like that. So yeah, that's Adobe Prelude. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've got any comments, questions, or maybe even suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.